this one is. You can't read it. It just says I on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says I barely. I got to rewrite these in here. It doesn't really phase that ink. Uh, but I believe this is the bird's eye. If it's not, I'll just pull the video down. Or I'll, I'll rename it or something like that. I'll pull it down because I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm talking in here explaining a bird's eye. And this may not be bird's eye. But this is bird's eye. I believe it's bird's eye. There's, I don't have any other pepper with the word I in its name. Um, anyway. Uh, this is a narrow leaf plant. As you can see. It's narrow leaf. You got purpling on the notes. I don't see no purpling on the stems. Um, the stem is smooth, but not like waxy smooth. It's, I'll show you a waxy smooth stem. Like, like bell peppers are waxy smooth, but this is smooth. It's not furry or even raspy. It's just uh, it's just smooth. It's, it's just not raspy. It's not waxy. So uh, here's a flower. Okay. That's what the flower looks like. It's nice and white. Um, you can see it's split off multiple times. It's not a very big plant right now. I'm not really sure how big it'll get. You know, it's in a pot, sharing a pot with other peppers. So, uh, this particular plant is over 12 inches. I'd probably push it more towards between 14 and 16 inches between this row of plants. Uh, I don't have any fruit on it right now. Um... It's a bird pepper, so you'll see what the bird pepper looks like when I when I uh, get to the seeds in just a moment, and uh, you know you can judge it from there. But I don't know. There's not much more to say about it. There's no fruit on it, so uh, that's it. That's uh, I gave it a leaf, right? And I gave it a leaf. I showed you the flowers, stems.